You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lanier, your host. Today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Professor Lee Farrow uh, from Stonehill. Stonehill College. Yes. Okay, and we are here to talk about, welcome to the show, by the way. Thank you. We are here to talk about the wonderful Clemente program that is done over at Community Connections. Um, how long has the program been in existence? Well, the program itself has been in existence over 20 years, mm -hmm. um, but Brockton has only had uh, our division of the program for three years. This will be our third year. Wow. So we are kind of newbies. <laughs> well, th will. three years. I, I, I remember when we did the original event yes. over at uh, Community Connections. I didn't realize it was already three years. That's yeah. great. Yes, it's wonderful. It's going strong. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask you. It's going well. I know a couple of people that have been through it. Some of the folks from the Family Center and Community Correct. Connections have been through it. Correct. One of my favorites is Alex Perez yes. from uh, what was Burrito Wraps, right. which now has a new name. Right. He talked about it, and I don't know how he came up with the time because the guy lives in his business. Okay, mm -hmm. but you got to get cultured. You got to get the arts. You, you you have American history, you have literature, you have art history, you have writing, you have different types of philosophy. So mm -hmm. it's putting people, putting well-rounded individuals together. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's about giving people an experience um, around critical thinking, thinking about the world they live in, uh, thinking about the world they want to live in, mm -hmm. and how they can contribute to that world. And so it's a very rich experience for adults who want to return back to the academic classroom, but also bring into that classroom their experiences. And I think that's one of the richnesses of the program, the fact that we have all this wonderful experience uh, encapsulated in all these adults. Mm -hmm. And so it makes for a, a very diverse way of learning. Now, how does it all work? I, I have to put on my uh, thinking cap and remember back three years ago, but um, you were telling me before there's uh, someone uh, teaching from Bridgewater, there's a couple of folks from Stonehill. Um, mm -hmm. How is it possible to do this, and is there credit for it? What does it cost? All of that kind of stuff. Yes, okay. So the Clemente program offers uh, five classes um, that people take. Um, and those five classes will uh, accredit them with six credits, uh, six college credits accredited by Bard College out of New York State. Mm -hmm. um, the students will take um, the five classes as you talked, as you spoke about, um, U.S. history, American history, philosophy, uh, writing, literature, as well as uh, art history. Mm -hmm. um, the classes run semester to semester, so September through uh, December is the first semester, and they take two and a half of those classes. Mm -hmm. Why a half? How can you take a half class? Well, we have the writing that runs through both semesters. Okay. And so they take part of their writing uh, requirements in the first semester, along with two other classes and then in the second semester which begins in January and runs through May they take the remaining two and a half classes right mm -hmm. and so um, at the end of successful completion required work such as writing papers and participation in class and um, good attendance um, they then uh, receive a certificate of completion mm -hmm. That certificate of completion is theirs to keep forever. Um, and we have a wonderful graduation normally at Stonehill College uh, where we have a commencement speaker, usually one of the students. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll have someone from the outside come and speak as well. Uh, and students are awarded their certificate of completion. So soon after they complete the full cycle of classes, we then send in applications to Bard College where they receive their credits or at least there's credit certificate paperwork mm -hmm. and they can take that to any uh, continuing education college uh, and use those credits towards uh, continuing their, um, uh, their education. So that's pretty much how it works in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Now the classes meet twice a week mm -hmm. uh, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, we provide child care in one of the adjoining rooms. We've actually been running the class out of the Keith School okay. uh, up to now. We might change venues uh, this semester. We're not quite sure yet. If not, we will certainly go back to the Keith School gladly. Mm -hmm. They're great par uh, partners. Um, Boston Public Schools has been 
Brockton Public Schools has been a great partner in all of this. Um, and so we meet, as I said, two hours for two nights a week, Mondays and Wednesdays, mm -hmm. uh, with child care. Um, and we engage in critical thinking and reading and discussions and using some of the more popular kind of pop culture kinds of activities to really illustrate the points that are coming out of the, the curriculum. What does it cost? How does that work? It is free. Wow. It's free. It's a free nine-month fully accredited college program. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, tend to attract um, a diverse population of students. Uh, they range in age from 18 years old to um, our oldest student the first year was 63 years old. Mm -hmm. Uh, tends to be a really well-rounded representation of Brockton's demographics, uh, multicultural, multi-ethnic, just a whole range of people. Mm -hmm. um, and we tend to have more women than men, but we certainly have men in the class and they pull their weight. As Alex, you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, mm -hmm. he was one of our star students and brought such a great balance to the class and, and really sort of welcoming spirit. Um, we tend to get into conversations that really sort of try to illuminate the studies that they're reading because sometimes reading about philosophy, you know, from the 16th and 17th century can be a bit challenging. So how do you bring that to current day times mm -hmm. and really look at some of the issues that are going on in society right now and then illustrate that through uh, people's own opinions about what's affecting them in their lives. So, That's great. Yeah. So we, I got the three minute cue. I'm going to give you two minutes. Okay. Tell the viewers how to get involved, how to apply, and uh, as quickly as you can, how, why you like it. I can tell you're a big fan. Not just because you're teaching it, but just because right. you believe in it. Right. Well, I would say that we are looking for adults who really want to continue being a part of society and really uh, developing themselves to become uh, more engaged in their citizenship. Now, what, what do I mean by that? I mean, people who are living in ordinary situations in their neighborhoods, uh, we think that the Clemente program can do three things for you. We think it can, number one, help you to, you know, personally develop yourself to really continue your education if you choose to do that. We think it can also help you uh, increase your employment on your existing job or look for new employment with new found confidence with this educational training. The third thing we think it can do is to advance your uh, engagement in your community. We think that people within the community, when they feel very good about what they know, they become much more engaged in leadership opportunities. So those are the three things that we try to make sure people are leave the program with. Uh, you can apply for the Clemente program right now. Uh, applications are open. You can go to the website of Community Connections of Brockton. Uh, that's www.ccvbrockton.org uh, and you can download an application there. You can also go to their office and pick up a paper application there at 1367 Main Street mm -hmm. in Brockton uh, and the Trinity Baptist Church. Um, you can do either one of those ways you can actually apply. Uh, you have until August 31st uh, to apply and so Perfect. those are the ways you apply for the program. It is free and we welcome you to come. Perfect. And I didn't have enough time. I could have talked to you for another half an hour but we'll follow up and we'll report on it and we'll hopefully go to one of those graduations. Absolutely. Thank we invite you always. Thank you Lee. I appreciate it. Thank you Mark. Uh, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.